Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk about snails and slugs, show you how to identify the damage and really control snails and slugs uh, towards the end of the season, which really will help you have less of them come next season when the spring arrives. It's late September here. Snails and slugs chew your leaves. These are my pepper plants. That type of pattern in your leaves is a good sign that you have snails you have slugs. The bigger holes are usually from the bigger slugs, the ones that are like, you know, an inch long, two inches long. They're really, really big, ugly ones. And you can see all the different holes in my pepper plants. Since it's the end of the season, I've really been letting these go. I haven't been treating the area once a month with iron phosphate. Iron phosphate is the best way to manage snails and slugs, in my opinion. It really, really works. Now, on those, this is a tomato plant, and it has holes in the leaves, too. And you can see kind of that reflection on the leaf. Let's see if I can move it in the sun. Snails and slugs leave a mucus trail. And that's the sure sign that's what's attacking your plants. Anytime you see that shiny film on your leaves, you have snails and slugs. It also can show up on the ground. Let's see if I can get a picture of that right in there in front of the stick. Now it can be hard to see because the sun's really bright right now, but on the mulch in different areas, if I t turn this, maybe you can see the reflection. That's the mucus trail from the snails and slugs, and it's real easy to see on the mulch if you look around. You know, if you come out at night when the sun goes down and start looking, you're gonna actually see the snails and slugs on your plants. You can pick them off, remove them, that's one way to do it. But that's not going to control them. That'll get rid of some of the large ones. But you can see that reflection. Look for that mucus trail on your mulch, on concrete, on the plant leaves, and that's how you know you got those snails and slugs moving around eating holes in your leaves. The best way to treat them is to use iron phosphate. They're baited pellets. Sprinkle them on the ground. I have a lot of videos on how to use that. I will link it to this one. Sprinkle it on the ground. Don't pile it on the ground. You don't need a lot of it. The snail slugs will go to it. They will eat it in a couple days. It shuts their, uh, di di yeah, their digestive system down and they die. And really, when you're dealing with pests, the best thing is to keep a journal, know when they show up, and start treating ahead of time. Now, for instance, it's the end of the season. A lot of the snails, the slugs, are going to eat a lot. They're going to go hibernate. They're going to lay eggs. And if you don't take care of them now, you'll have a nice infestation come spring. So use the iron phosphate now, kill them off before they lay eggs, and then come spring before you really start planting, start putting the iron phosphate out there because they're gonna come out of hibernation, they're gonna wanna eat, let them eat that and die off, and you will really control the damage from these pests. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.